To celebrate being back in art class, we're gonna draw some tools of creation, some paintbrushes. There'll be splatter painting and you can put a lot of your own personality into this too. Our artist inspiration is Jim Dine. He was a pop artist famous for painting hearts, but he also painted tools, very realistic drawings with lots of energy to their marks. There were wrenches and hammers, and of course, lots of paintbrushes. So to start off, please write your name and choose a paintbrush to draw. You only have to draw one today. If you are having fun with it, draw a bunch. I'm gonna draw this big one. Now you could even try tracing it, but I would look at it instead. If you draw a paintbrush that looks like this, I'll know that you were not paying attention because paintbrushes have three parts. Everyone repeat after me. Handle, ferrule, and bristles. All right, I'm gonna try drawing what I see line by line. If it's not perfect, that means I am human and not a robot. So draw lightly so you can erase. I'm gonna fudge the handle a little bit to make it fit, but yours can also go off the page. Notice if you're doing this kind of brush, the lines curve a little bit, which makes it look more like a cylinder. Then next step, trace with Sharpie. For the bristles, I like to show the ones at the top one's near the ferrule, and then just a few in the middle. I think that adds a look of volume. Yes, Step three, add a little bit of shading. Pick one side, you can use your pencil, you can smudge it with the finger, or even add a little bit of water on top to make that more of, of a strong shadow. Oil pastel works too, although it will be a much darker look and you can even shade the inside of your brush handle if you're feeling super fancy. All right, now time for paint. Please do not use the big handled brushes on paint. So find a soft brush, use a lot of water. And for the splattery effect that makes it look like we were just painting with these things, add a lot of water and create kind of this organic puddle. I'm gonna go for a rainbow thing, which doesn't really make a lot of sense, but it's gonna be pretty. You can also have the brush drawing something that you like. Um, and everyone's favorite thing, splatter painting. Make sure there's a lot of water on that brush. Pick up your color, tap it against your hand just like this, and make sure you wash your brush between colors. That's it, you're done. Add any other words or doodles that make you happy. Um, and these are gonna make the walls of the school look so beautiful.